which is fun and games showmen, blah, 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 you know, just playing tricks. Me, meh, 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 to the you know to the Riddler that's in one of my favorite comics, which is the Riddle the Riddle, Riddle Factory, where he creates this game show. He chooses one person from Gotham to humiliate, and that person commits suicide every time. That's that's really that's really terrifying. You know, so I wanted to. I wanted to create a character that could eventually be any of these things. Um, and what's really exciting is during the end of season one, you start to see this human being who loves his games, loves his riddles, but you you start to see the flash of really, really intense psychosis and um, really haunting, uh, hopefully, um, terrifying behavior. Self-loathing. Oh man, I got so excited when I read that. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, Robin nor I knew that, that it was coming, and he and I became really good friends, and we love each other's work. Uh, so that was a fun day. It was just super charged. I think of like, of most of the scenes that I've done, except maybe a two, a couple of them, it was like, an an incredible moment for the two of us to be able to like exist in this universe and like create history really you know these two the first time these two amazing characters actually got to meet so we felt like we felt a very intense responsibility to not mess it up you know I because we read it and I was like this could go this could go like six different ways when, when we walk away from this exchange where should we be? We wanted it to be open enough. We wanted it to be charged, but open enough that like no one necessarily wins. You know that the power dynamic is a little up in the air. That it's clearly antagonistic, uh, but no one really has the upper hand. <laughs> I mean, <come> on. <laughs> the no. He's smarter. Uh, Penguin is perhaps more ruthless. But it's more in the psychology of someone who lost their parents, is wealthy, and decides to, you know, create this identity in this world to help people, but it's not clean, is really interesting. So I was, uh, that was, he was, he was my favorite. I was just, I was a, I was a good boy from Ohio, I just wanted to cheer on the, you know, the good guys. It's awesome. Twitter, Twitter has been really fun. Uh, I had I was not on Twitter before this show. And I was very apprehensive about being on it, um, and it's been a, it's been a real treat. Um, the fan art is insane. I had someone uh, tweet me a picture of a of a 16 gauge cross stitch that they made of my face. Wow! I was like, that takes so much time. It's so much energy. It's amazing. It's really it's really flattering. It's really cool. You know, my my getting into acting was not to like have a fan base, but to tell stories and to um, hopefully, you know, let people feel something or have more empathy or relive an experience or whatever. What I didn't conceive was being a part of a franchise that people are really, really passionate about that just wasn't in my... Uh, I didn't see that as necessarily part of my path. And so it's been really cool to experience being an actor in a different capacity that lets people come together of a shared interest, something that's been around for 75 years, um, and also to inspire other art. Like, it's been amazing for me to, like, participate in something that people want to draw, or paint, or do cross-stitch. You know, that's just, it wasn't something that I thought that I would inspire in people, but that's, it's really, it's really cool.